Uh, when, when I was an undergraduate in the early 1980s, we had a visiting professor from the Goddard Institute of Space Science in Manhattan. His name's Jim Hansen, and at the time he was a principal scientist just looking at atmospheric science, and they were developing at that time one of the first global climate models in terms of, you know, what, and asking the question, what would be the impact of, of um, increasing CO2 in the atmosphere to human-induced climate change? Would there be human-induced climate change? And on a short time scale, the, the data are noisy. And so Jim analyzed this, and he basically said, and this is the early 1980s, and he's testifying before Congress and lecturing to us at Columbia. He basically said that by the end of the 20th century, warming due to human-induced increases in CO2 in the atmosphere would be in the realm of the bleeding obvious to put it into the vernacular. And of course, that's exactly what's happened. When, when you look at model data and the real data, climate data around the planet, there's an envelope of variation. And what Jim was talking about was when would that change in temperature leave that envelope of what you'd anticipate for natural variability. And it did. The data left the envelope in the last, last part of the 20th century. So he predicted it 20, year, 20 years beforehand using what would be considered a very, very crude global climate model today, but it worked and his predictions have been really spot on.